lot of these cars, this is a 2006 Audi A4, they use a different kind of AC compressor and it doesn't have a magnetic clutch. So the only way you can tell it's on is running some diagnostics through the computer. The most common type of AC compressor is one where there's a magnetic clutch and you can easily tell if it's running just by looking at it. This one is much different. Typically, just by looking at the front of the compressor, you can tell whether it's engaging or not. But I'll show you how to check the computer to see if yours is engaging. Here's a list of 19 of the most common reasons your compressor won't turn on. And these will all be codes that you can read using the VAGCOM system. We're going to be using the mini VAG. Now, typically, VAGCOM would be a software on a laptop, but this is a lot smaller. There might be a few differences, like you won't see titles. It's a little bit harder to understand on this smaller piece, but it's a lot smaller. It's a lot more convenient. With the OBD2 plugged in, we'll start the engine and take a look at our compressor shutoff codes. We'll go into Diagnostics, Common, Auto HVAC, and then let that load in to where it's going. Once it loads in, click enter, and then scroll down to measure blocks, which is number eight. And then we're going to go into input group zero, zero, two, and then click enter. The only number you really need to look at is the top number here. It says number three, so if we look at our shutoff codes, number three means refrigerant pressure too low. Now, if you were on a computer, it would give you a description of what the error is. And we know that our refrigerant pressure is too low because it's lower than two bar. And if it was too high, it would be higher than 32 bar. The other codes here are just the other codes that have been thrown before, like past codes. If your engine was off, it would give you a code five, which means engine start detection, basically that your RPMs are too low. If you had a code five, that means your engine is off engine start detection basically saying that the engine rpms are too low and it's not going to be able to run the compressor and if your compressor was on it would show a zero zero means that your compressor is on right now of course it's not on because there's too little refrigerant so if you want to know what your compressor is thinking this is a great way to do it and there's a whole bunch of different codes but having this list really helps another useful block to go through in diagnosing the ac system is zero zero one which is your G65 pressure sender. And here it says that our pressure, which is the bottom one, is one bar, which is definitely too low. It'll turn on once it gets above two bar. So that is the reason the compressor is not turning on. On this mini bag, the way that you select the measure block, so if you wanna to go to zero, zero, one, in order to select zero, I hold the top button and then let go hold the top button, let go, and then if I want to go to 002 or 003, I can just click this and scroll up and down the numbers, and then once I get it to the one I want, I'll just click enter, and then it'll take me to that group. So that's how you can figure out what your compressor is thinking, and this mini VAG is pretty handy, and also if you had the VAGCOM software, that would also work just as well, if not a little bit better. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.